Hello my friends, welcome back to the Perpetual Randomizer. Before we begin today's mission, you can see that I have grabbed all the money from the laboratory as well as from the Zeratul missions. We have a lot to work with, and people said that now that we've gotten to the end, we should replace some of the redundant units. And I tend to agree. I think the ones that we need to get rid of are the Pigalisk, which is really just worse than the Ursidon at this point, and then the Prometheus Company we are not getting any use out of. So let's see if we can do a little bit of a re-roll here. That is not very different than the Prometheus Company. And we have no more. <laughs> no more re-rolls. Um, okay, Prometheus Company. Okay, Prometheus Company into... <laughs> no! <laughs> He's back. He's... <laughs> we thought we were rid of him, but he's back. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, let's take a look at the upgrades on the hybrid nemesis. Yeah, we can get some shields. We don't really need less resources. It's pretty cheap already. Let's um, just grab... I feel like a shield on the impaler will be good. We're going to be using those on all in, obviously. I think some energy regeneration on the mothership core is going to be good. And then... Let's get a Devotion or a little bit of armor on all of our guys nearby and finish things off with uh, some tech speed on the Sunken Colony. Now, I asked you guys what upgrades to get, and some of you guys, in fact, the most upvoted one was getting repair speed for SCVs. And guys, I thought I raised you better than that. I'm going to be completely honest. When I saw that... Instead of going for the units or the upgrades on the meme units, you went for repair speed on SCVs. I was disappointed. I thought, I thought there was no way that people would think that way. Um, we are very close <laughs> to. <laughs> we are very, very, very close to being at our supply limit already. Okay, well, that's uh, that's something. Oh, we got good static defense here already. This is actually really good to see. Let's get a photon cannon over here. We might just do two missions today. <laughs> we have so much power right now. We're like almost done. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, you know what unit is really cheap and ups our supply really fast? The Mito Scarab. <laughs> Let's do it. It's obviously a sign that it is what we were supposed to do. And then we can go... <laughs> We can do Belly of the Beast as well. That is so ridiculous. 98 supply already. Yeah, we're gonna leave a couple of these. Look at how big he is. He's still not very good. <laughs> Let's uh, grab all this and our friend Warfield is about to land. Oh, we didn't get all the mercenaries. We should have. That's okay, it's not the end of the world. Because we can still just buy the hybrid. I think they're worth it. Even though they'd obviously be insane. Uh, do we just go? Do we just start clearing? I kind of think we do. <laughs> we just see what we can get done. A lot of these are volatile infested, which aren't very good. So we have to pay attention to that, but like... This kind of feels like it's going to be the fastest we've ever done this mission without, uh, without cheesing it. Alright, we're going to move you guys this way. Blow that guy up. Oh, I don't have, uh, oh no, I was, I was taking thumbnail screenshots so we don't have HP bars. I was like, man, my guys are just immortal. This is great. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> If I can't see the damage, I can't take the damage. Everybody knows that. So even if we don't clear this, we have uh, dealt with the infested bit, which is one of the harder bits. This is fantastic progress. And all this is being held off very easily. Grab some of the quill gore, send them over here. And keep clearing all this. We're going to take these guys and bring them back now. I think it is a pretty good time for that. And... Uh, let's get tech lab. Okay. We keep rescuing banelings, which isn't really what we're here for. I'm gonna be honest. I know it's not banelings. Volatile infested. That's a. Uh, as I said before, we're doing shatter the sky full infested. But 
That's not this. Okay, all these guys are healing. Thank goodness. Uh, this whole thing is clear. We're going to need a couple more guys, but I feel like if we just save up for the mercenary wave, we're going to be good to go. Oh, we could have cleared... No, I'm not actually sure there's a jump spot here. I know that you can Hercules transport between this high ground. Yeah, there's not a jump spot. No, okay. I, uh... Not an accessible... You, we'd have to go, like... Yeah, not gonna work. I, I was looking for it. It would have been really cool if it did properly work. So I'm thinking that, uh... Corpsers count as infested. I think it's only fair. Of course, I'm gonna use corpses on all-in because they're amazing as well. And we haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of them, but I think that... Them with scantipedes is gonna be a ridiculous, ridiculous power spike that we, uh, get later. Do we need that money? I don't think we do. I think we just need these war pigs, and then I think we go and win the mission. Get a couple corpsers. But corpsers just feel, like, in the same vein as infested. You know what I mean? It's like little infinite spawny things from dead people. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels that way. But I just wanted to make my intentions clear. Alright, let's go try to win this before, like, the 8-minute mark. Yeah, corpse them. We got the replicators here, so what we can do is we can replicate a Broodlord. Heck yeah. And then, uh, I don't want them to have Broodlords, so we'll just remove all these from the game. Hey, get rid of that, and we are almost done. <laughs> this is so crazy! <laughs> The, uh, the mercenary upgrade is the one that's doing this. Oh, I just lost everybody to... Wow, I really did just lose a bunch of ascendants to a single dude. That's not good. Uh oh this is looking bad. Um, alright. Well, I think the scantipedes are gonna do it for me. Being these guys... What's a drop pod? And the Mito Scarab inside. Hey, at least the little Mito Scarab guys are kind of decent now that they're mercenaries. <laughs> they're not as bad as they used to be. Here, okay, we're gonna Broodlord again. Oh, no! Spores and Scourge! Well, that's how- that's our plan to get rid of Scourge, actually. It's really good. Alright, start targeting all this down. I wanna try to... Get the replicant over here, and then replicate. Here we go. And then we're just going to put this guy right up here. Just in case. And then watch. He's going to die, but it's fine. I don't care. Because even when he dies, he's going to be right up here. And then he's immune to the scourge. Easy peasy. <laughs> 8 minute 37 second. <laughs> Mercenary gates of hack. Alright, let's go do Belly of the Beast. I'm gonna make a real save because I don't know if you guys want me to do the air or the ground version of All In. I will leave that up to you guys. We're gonna do Shadow of the Sky though because it is a good mission either way. Uh, save. Perpetual Randomizer. And then we go Mission. And let's see what our elite heroes are like. I, uh... <laughs> I have no idea what we're going to get here. I don't actually know if this is a unit that it... If the things are randomized. I saw someone in the comments say that they are. And I kind of just trust them. But half the time people are correct and half the time they're making stuff up. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. We have to be very careful with Swan. All right. <laughs> Wait, what happens if he explodes? Um... How does hero work when hero explode? We have to test. Sure! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> he even gets the benefit when he dies! Remember, we have the thing that makes them get a buff when they die! Infested nearby. 
<laughs> he buffs himself when he explodes. What's up? Okay. Quit hogging all the fun, Jimmy. Oh, we gotta have someone next to him. I forgot. Oh, uh, it's not just a time thing. It's a <laughs> so stupid. Okay. How do we? All we can do is enable or disable structure attack. Oh wait, our ascendant's a real medic today. This is beautiful. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Can't believe. Oh, Swan. What a guy. Talk to me. Time to man up. Come on, James Raynor. Shoot your thing. Fire the grenade. I think that we're really strong here. Obviously, Jim is a little bit nerfed just off of the fact that he is uh break it down. Sitting a little bit funky with his melee-ness. However, Tychus is insane. <laughs> Being a corpse or roach on this mission is ridiculously powerful. Go, 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 go. Get him, Swan. So if we just keep healing Swan properly, it's fine, right? We can just heal him and it'll explode over and over. Blow this up. In fact, we have infinite healing, don't we? Oh, we can't. Uh, we got to eat our. We got to eat our corpselings in order to regenerate the energy so that we can heal Swan so that he can kill stuff and explode to spawn more corpselings. <laughs> what a dumb strategy. This is the dumbest mission. I love it. <laughs> Swan is the greatest warrior. <laughs> Get him, Swan. Okay. He's beautiful. He's so good. I love how fast he gets every time he explodes. It's actually legitimately great. Because then we can get him out of trouble if we need to. Blast that and that. Keep heading this way. Take all these down and... I can't tell what's happening in these fights. We're just annihilating everything. Here, get Stepman over here. Oh, we got uh, Swan over there. Alrighty. Swan is going to be really good against the Nidus with Canals, too. Get him. <laughs> uh, turns out being a volatile infested that takes no damage is really good. Who would have guessed? But for some reason still counts as dying. What an odd combo. It really wants Oh, I can't place Betty. Oh, there I can. It was just grayed out for a bit. I guess after we explode, he needs a moment. He's like, whoa, that was a lot. Yeah, I thought he took damage when he exploded at first, but yeah, he absolutely is not taking damage. It was just enemy damage. And he's overpowered as heck. Rory Swan, destroyer of worlds. My hero is a Baneling. Get him. Okay, uh... It's gonna... I don't have to manage this at all. <laughs> wherever... Wherever Tychus is, infinite corpse... <laughs> infinite roachlings follow. And it is unbeatable. Oh my goodness. The only thing that would make this better is if we had like a replicator hero and the Omegalisk wasn't heroic. It might not be. <laughs> because that would be the most beautiful thing ever. If someone has a screenshot of that, I, we can check obviously. We'll get to the Omegalisk or the Brutalisk or whatever it is and uh, check if it's heroic. And if it's not, if anybody has the replicant as one of these heroes, which I'm not sure is something that can happen, I guess in the chaos mode, it always can happen. Then I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see the queen boss fighting a replicant. A Vigilisk. Go, go, go. We just keep moving. 
I think that everybody we have here as well is buffed by... Or I guess... Yeah, the heroes are not. The heroes are not buffed by the mercenary upgrade. It's just like the Odin. However, the regular guys are actually legitimately good and useful here because they are mercenaries instead of their normal. Also, this is going to be really nice. Oh yeah, I... I like that. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Alright. Also, one thing that's really nice here is that the medics are not messing me over. Like, one of the easiest ways to have things go terribly on this mission is the regular medic heals someone that Stepman should be healing. But that just is not a problem here. Oh, wow. <laughs> they barely survived. Because my medic is an ascendant. With 111 kills. <laughs> okay, so right now... <laughs> Tychus barely has more kills than my medic equivalent. <laughs> this is the most dangerous medic in the Kerpulu sector. We go this way. Oh! Well, that Ursodon just tanked the Banes. That's all I need. Blast it. Oh! That's unfortunate. Wait, he's back. Great to see you guys. Great to see you. The cavern ahead is full of worms. So no, these are allied. <laughs> we can't get past. <laughs> right. Yo, corpsers are actually insane for this next segment too. Are we imbalanced? Is this just on? Can you please die? Thank you. Sounds like a plan. This is this, somehow we have the greatest possible composition. We have Rory Swan, the constantly exploding guy that deals with AoE. We have multiple Ascendants available. We have Ursodons that tank really well with the infinite healing. We have a million Corpsers. Like, everything is insane. This is so crazy. Okay, well, 100 tons of Zerg. There he goes. 100 tons of Zerg out going. Then we just consume, and we consume, and then we try not to kill people. Remember, we are mercenaries, so we have that capability. The only thing that's difficult is that our corpsers do so much damage. Or rather, we kill stuff so much so quick that the corpsers surround everybody, and then the Ursodons can't necessarily attack. And if that's the worst thing that's going on, we're in good shape. This is... This is a war crime. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love when the enemy agrees. And then, of course, the uh, Banelings are way, way, way less good compared to normal because we have all these Roachlings that are just soaking the Bane shots. I'm having a blast. This feels like the... The culmination of having to deal with so much garbage at the beginning of this run. Struggling so much with what should be the easiest thing ever. And then we actually get everything together and it turns out there was all for this reason. All to have the ultimate Belly of the Beast Destruction Fest 2024. Hello to the one person that's watching this in 2028, by the way. I hope you're doing well. It was 2024 when this was recorded. Specifically the, uh... April 6th. April 6th. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna knock this down. I'm, like, not even paying attention. It's so easy. No! Oh, it used to be. The artist formerly known as Ultralisk. <laughs> Ascendants are good. They've always been good. I will... I will admit that they have always had me through thick and thin to the point where I wasn't using them much because they are so good. But, uh, in situations like these, they always carry so hard. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, we're CEOs today. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the swan is the the secret MVP. Boom. He's <laughs> so good. Oh man, I'm excited to see who has the most kills at the end of this. So usually the way that it goes is Jim and Tychus are pretty close in terms of kill count. And then, you know, people like Swan are multiverses away. However, this time, Stepman has 13 kills. This Ascendant has 47. The previous Ascendant that died earlier had 111. Ursadon has 25, like a legend. All right, so let's take a look. Is this guy heroic? Nope, he's not. Dude, someone has to replicate that, please. If you want to have a good day, you gotta replicate it. That would be so fun. Just replicate it multiple times <laughs> and then go do the boss fight with all of your Oegalisks. The easiest queen boss fight ever. This one's gonna be pretty easy though as well. All right, she's going over here. She pops up somewhere. There we go. And we just burn her down. We take down what we take down. Then we come on over here and let's uh, consume. Then she's going to burrow again. We consume again. She's going to heal a little bit. We got to be careful. And the stun is always a little bit scary. We're good. Yep, that was uh, truly the easiest I have ever seen that fight be. <laughs> Get him, Swan. Oh, yeah, that's not it. We got more stuff for you, Swan. Oh, don't die, Swan. We need you. Heal him. We can keep moving. Sounds like a plan. Sell me. Time to talk to me. You can count on me. And then a man's gotta do what What's the plan? What's up? Talk to me. Well then I'll put the grenade. Uh, in the YouTube comments right now, before we get to the end, put your votes in for who you think is going to have all uh or the most kills. Is it going to be the legendary, the legendary swan? Is it going to be Ursa Donny Rainer, or is it going to be Corpse or Tychus? Oh, sorry, Ascendant. <laughs> I can't check you now. All right. Let's check. Ursa Don, Ursa Don, Ursa Don. 219 for Jim. Uh, Corpse or 215 for Tychus. And then, 228 for Rory Swan. Incredibly close between the three. Actually ridiculously close. But I am so proud of Swan. That is an amazing achievement for him. Something that he has never done in his entire life before. What an absolute legend. This was a great day. I really enjoyed today's missions. <laughs> We're going to be doing infested only Shatter the Sky next time. That's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace!